in July, a severe windstorm destroyed dozens of mobile homes in North Spokane County. Residents of the Riverside Village Mobile Home Park spent weeks without power and clean water. Many received little or no help clearing down trees and debris. And now some of those same residents are worried they may lose their homes again because of mismanagement. KXY 4's Katie Curry working for you with what those homeowners are doing to try to take back their community. Well, Nadine, tonight over 20 homeowners met with the American Manufactured Homeowners Group of Washington. They claim they are being mistreated by management. The past two months have been anything but easy for residents. This video is what the park looked like just two weeks ago. In an effort to take control of their community, homeowners are seeking the help of American Manufactured Homeowners Group of Washington. In their first meeting with AMHO tonight, they were able to openly express their concerns with an AMHO advisor and a lawyer. They say the community has had some of the issues for decades, but ever since the storm, they have been made more obvious. AMHO says the first step is making sure these homeowners know their rights. For example, one of the big concerns is rent going to be raised. Homeowners claim it's been done illegally in the past. The state law require, uh, says they can raise rent once a year on the anniversary date of when they first moved into the park or community, and a lot of them don't know that. AMHO says the ultimate goal is to develop a homeowners association in order to create open lines of communication between homeowners and management. The homeowners association is only for the residents who own their mobile homes but rent the land. As of now, homeowners are intimidated by management. None of the individuals who attended the meeting tonight would speak to me on camera, saying they are scared of retaliation. AMHO says they chose not to involve management in tonight's meeting for that exact reason. Reporting in studio tonight, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News.